Well, in Canada, we still have actual Toys R Us stores. So I like to go there from time to time and check out what kind of new stuff they have today. Um, it's We're getting close to Easter, so I'm hopeful that they're gonna have new stuff. And I think that the Toys R Us's in Canada are adding HMVs inside. So I don't know if that's gonna be set up yet, but I wanna see what kind of Transformers, G.I. Joe, all kinds of the neat stuff that they're bringing out. Obviously the Lego as well. Uh, and hopefully just show you guys all the cool goodies in there. So let's go check it out. Yeah, we can look around. One of the first things I noticed is they had so many Squishmallows. It was almost a quarter of the whole area of the stuffed animal spot. Now, there were some cool ones, but holy moly, there was a lot of Squishmallows. Two for ten bucks for Lego was a pretty good guys. Uh, they were pretty well stocked with Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, and Lorcana, so that was good to see. They really didn't have any new world's smallest toys, so that was a bit of a bummer. This is the section where they're putting HMV, so it's still under construction. They also had a ton of like collector figures. Always cool to see those. The transformer section was so bad. There was literally nothing you know, maybe three little shelves. Um, they did have these G.I. Joe figures. They were kind of cool. Of course, I had to check out the Pokemon stuffed animals. Here's some of the newer G.I. Joe stuff. I can't get into the six-inch figures, though, so it's a pass for me. They had some video game figures like Halo and Fortnite. I was Girls, really I'm over here. For Find it yet? The big Transformers stop, but there was nothing there. This is the Claire's section. Now back over here. You're looking for a golden egg. It's hidden in the store. They had an Easter promo going where you had to find a golden egg in the store. And right. as much as my daughters looked, they could not find it. They were searching everywhere. Now the DC figures cool. are actually pretty good. Um, still a small display though, nothing crazy. A uh, lot of Mario stuff. There's a lot of Mario things. Now the Star Wars display was, you know, pretty good. They had the action, Micro Squadron. I keep wanting to call them Action Fleet. This is one that I don't have that caught my eye. A lot of the Black Series figures, some re-release kind of style stuff. And then the Ninja Turtles setup was pretty good too. So I like this. I was tempted to get it to do a video on, but I ended up passing on it because we were there to buy a birthday present for one of Beverly's friends, so wasn't about us today. The Marvel Legends setup was pretty good. I also like this Blackbird from the X-Men 97 show. Um, the Sentinel, if it was more articulated, would be perfect for setting up a display because of the height with the six inch figures. This was a nice set, but the pricing is high. A little bit too much for what I want to pay. Um, but so many cool figures right now coming out um, because of X-Men 97. There was some Godzilla vs. Kong stuff, and then the uh, wrestling section was pretty well stocked. Looks like they're running a lot of sales, though. Tons of that. The Bakugan and Beyblade area was pretty good, too. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff coming out for that. No, but you can see gaps in the shelves, so 
I think they might be getting ready to re-release or release some new stuff. Here's some more. This was the clearance area. You got the League of Legends figures on clearance. Uh, some Masters of the Universe stuff on clearance. And a couple Ninja Turtle figures on clearance as well. That's a good deal. This was nice, but the clearance price is kind of like what I would be expecting like a sale price to be. So I passed on all that stuff, but it was cool to see uh, some of the stock looking that they're looking to get rid of. I was so tempted to get that Monsters figure and that Power Ranger villain. They have the new Animal Crossing Lego sets. Look, Abby. I've seen these online a little bit. They look pretty cool. You need a pretty big display to set them up, and our display is dedicated to Harry Potter. Free so Lego Birds nesting up. building set when you spend $65 or more. Like when I got that other one. We're looking for it. As always, the Lego area was pretty well stocked. They, this is the one thing I like most about this particular Toys R Us is they always have a ton of good Lego. Yeah? This is where I usually buy it because I know the sets I'm looking for. This was the other tiny display of Transformers. Then we hit up the quote-unquote girl section. See this? Um, find some cool stuff. Yep. My daughters. But I had to check out the Jurassic Park stuff before we went over to the Barbie area. It wasn't too much, but that Triceratops was cool. They had a pretty big setup for Barbie stuff. I could count probably four racks and two walls full of Barbie. They had Barbie the movie stuff. Um, all kinds of like sets and accessories so that was uh, a favorite for my daughters they didn't say it was behind them they said it might be around them the last thing that caught my eye was these 40th anniversary my little cool. ponies they were pretty old. cool uh, but other than that that was pretty much our entire trip at toys r us thanks for watching